Beam down smoke. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about Operation Shattered Web. So this is a brand new operation from CSGO. It is officially released and out and there's a new battle pass to go along with it and all this great stuff. So today I'm going to tell you guys what to invest in for the future and uh, what's going to rise in the future as well. And for that reason guys, I will have this nice video of all the collections uh, collected here that you guys can kind of just watch and figure out what you want to buy. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and let's get started. Okay, so first off, we have three new collections. We have the Canals collection, we have the Norse collection, and we have the St. Mark collection. So there's new skins for all different tiers in these collections, all the way up to red, and uh, these are the best ones to invest in, in my opinion. Also, I'm not going to talk about every single skin, I'm just going to talk about the ones that I personally think are best, meaning if I don't mention a skin, I probably think it's not the best possible investment you can make, even though all of these skins are going to rise after the operation ends, so keep that in mind. Okay, so for the first skin, we have the Norse collection, and we have the Galil AR Tornado. This is one of the cheapest ones you can invest in. The reason this one's so good right now is because the Galil actually just got buffed, and uh, if that buff does actually remain and they don't find it to be too overpowered, then the Galil Tornado from the new collection is obviously going to be a very strong investment going into the future. Next up we have the CZ Auto Emerald, also from the Norse Collection. I think this looks like a really good skin for the CZ, it just looks really nice on it, and uh, for that reason it's also going to be a very strong investment. Next up from the purples we have the Desert Eagle Emerald Jormungandr, I think that's how you pronounce it, and uh, it's this green deagle skin. There's not been another green deagle skin in the game, and this one also looks just super good on it. Uh, also we're going to be doing a trade up for it as well on screen, so let's see if we got it, I don't know, I'm editing this video. <laughs> Anyway, uh, also all of the purple skins in the Norse collection all look very nice and they're all very good. So they're all good to invest in, but the Desert Eagle Emerald Jormungandr is probably going to be the best one. And then obviously for all of you high tier collectors out there, the Op Gungnir is going to be a very good investment for this collection. It's the rarest Op skin from this entire collection and also one of the ones that looks the best. I think it's a very, very good looking one. And uh, for that reason, it's going to just be crazy expensive once this operation ends. So if you do somehow end up picking one of these up, then uh, make sure you hold on to it. Next up we have the St. Mark collection in which we kick it off with the PP Bison Seabird. So this is a very interesting looking PP Bison and it's uh, kind of weird that it's such a low tier one but this one does look extremely interesting and also very good so if you do want to pick one of these up go for it if you don't have a lot to invest this is going to be a good skin for you to buy. Next up we have the M4A4 Dark Blossom. When I first saw this skin I thought it looked way cooler than it actually does in game. Personally not a huge fan of it but it is an M4A4 and it's also pretty low tier meaning it's going to be cheap for people to pick up, which means it's also going to be a good investment once this collection actually ends. Next up we have the 5.7 Crimson Blossom, also from the St. Mark collection, and I think this one looks super nice. I think it's one of the best looking 5.7s in the game, in fact, and uh, it's a very simple one, but I think it's also going to be a pretty strong investment just because of how good it looks. Next up we have this Aug Midnight Lily, and from the video you can see it actually has a hollow effect. Yeah, that's right, the gun has a hollow effect. This is the first time we've ever seen this happen. It's part of the new finishes that CSGO has actually released for workshop creators, and uh, obviously this is the first one that actually has this sort of hollow effect on it. It's going to be an insanely good investment after this is all set and done and it looks incredible in game. Next up we have the MP9 Wild Lily which trades up to the Lotus AK which is the red for this collection and also going to be the most expensive one is obviously uh, but the MP9 Wild Lily also looks very good on its own. It's an MP9 which is a very popular gun in the pro scene and uh, it you know it trades up to the red which is crazy good so this is also going to be a very strong investment. Also if you're wondering why I didn't mention the Negev because it has the same reasoning with the uh, trading up to the op. Obviously the Negev it doesn't look that great on its own and it's also not going to be very strong of an investment just because it's a Negev and people don't really use the Negev uh, with nice skins like that. So on its own, it's not a good investment, but because of the fact that it trades up to the op, I guess you could make that argument. Now again, for your high tier collectors out there, we have the AK-47 Wild Lotus. This is from the St. Mark collection. It's the red from the St. Mark collection. This AK looks pretty nice, actually. I mean, honestly, the color scheme is a little weird, but to be honest, it's a very good looking red. And if you do want to invest in something that's going to be very expensive, this is going to have the same sort of effect as the op Gungnir. Okay, moving on to the Canals collection we have the R8 Revolver Canal Spray. This is going to be a pretty good one to invest in just because it is the most popular one that's being used for trade-ups for the next uh, tier of the Canals collection because of the AK in it. So this is a very strong investment going forward and if you do want to stock up on these you can make a decent amount of money after the collection ends. Next up we have the SG553 Candy Apple. This one seems really popular to be honest. I mean looking at the prices of it it actually holds prices higher than the AK in a lot of its wares and uh, this is a very good investment. It just looks like a really nice SG and 
and uh, it looks like it's going to be very strong going forward. People seem to be buying this quite a lot if they do have the rest of the Candy Apple collection just to try and finish it off. So I think this is a really strong one for the future. Next up we have the AK-47 Baroque Purple. So this is actually my favorite investment from the entire collections out of every th single skin that they released. This is actually my favorite one and I think this one's actually going to have the highest price spike after this is all said and done. This is a very, very good looking skin. We have no other AK that looks anything similar to this even. Uh, the only one that I can even think of is the Business Class which is a very old skin and doesn't look all that great. So I think this is a very strong investment going forward and uh, this is probably the best one you could invest in as well in terms of return on investment. Next up we have the SSG08 Orange Filigree from the blue tier of this collection, the Milspec tier, and uh, there is going to be a very interesting fact about this skin. If you actually take a look at the barrel of this, the skin actually extends onto it while it doesn't retain the original skin that the skin uh, has on the base of it as well. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but you can look at it in game and you'll see what I mean. And I think this is the first time that they've ever done something even similar to this, so I think it's very cool. Plus it's on a scout, which is a very popular weapon, at least in the low ranks. Now as for the rest of the blue skins and going all the way up to the purple, I'm not really impressed with uh, anything else. The only one I was really impressed with is this Baroque Orange, which I think is a very good looking Nova. They really went all out on this skin. It's like a gold-plated gold turd. It really just looks super cool. I don't know why they just decided to pop off and make this Nova look so freaking good, but it just looks really awesome, and I guess it's going to be one of the highest tier Novas in the entire game. Definitely pick this one up if you want to have a very good looking, very low tier weapon, I guess. And finally, back up to those high tier collectors out there, we have the Op the Prince. The pink for this collection, again, not very impressed with it, with the uh, same thing with the Negev. And uh, this Op the Prince, obviously very good investment after this collection ends. Going to be one of the rare skins in the game, and also one of the coolest looking skins in the game. So if you do want something super cool like this, make sure you go check out the Op the Prince. Now for the Shattered Web case, I'm actually just going to rapid fire this because I think there's just too many things to talk about. And obviously the skins in this case are going to decrease in value over time and they're not really going to be a strong investment until the very long term. So let's just talk about some of the skins in particular that I like from it. Okay, so the Rat Rod, the Arctic Wolf, and the Neon Ply, those are the MP7, Og, and AK skins. In this case, those are all purples as well. Uh, those are going to be the first ones that are actually going to get you any return on value at all after, you know, after a while. Obviously, this case is going to stay in the game for quite a while, and they're not going to be strong investments, but those are the ones that I like the most out of the purples at least. Next up, the Colony 4 and the Bloodshot. Those are the SG skins and also for the uh, the scout those are going to be the best purples to invest in they both look very nice in game and they both are very good looking skins overall obviously again I'm not gonna rise in value in the short term there to be a long-term investment and then finally we have the op containment breach this is in my opinion the best op they've released in a very long time it's better than the wildfire in my opinion as well this one just looks absolutely incredible I'm definitely getting one of these in a very short while just because it matches my channel as well with the green and black kind of theme to it and so I think this is a very good looking op and a very strong investment as well going forward. So guys, that's going to cut it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure you take my tips into heart and try to invest in some of those skins. Obviously, go for the ones that I'm talking about in the beginning of this video with the collections. Don't go for the Shattered Web case because that one is going to be a very long-term investment. You'll have more opportunities to get those at lower prices going forward. Now, I also wanted to mention one more thing before this video closes. I'm not talking about the Cobblestone collection or the Gods and Monsters or the Chop Shop collection. Those are all the old Operation collections, and the reason I'm not talking about them is because they don't actually drop uh, in this new uh, set of Operations, because uh, this is actually just removed from the game. I don't know why, but they are, they're not dropping them anymore. There's a Reddit post on the screen right here that you can see that says uh, from the Steam support that you can't actually get those collections dropped in game. You can only get them from the St. Mark, uh, the Canals collection, and the Norse collection. Uh, you can only get those drops in game. So with that being said, again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like on this video if you enjoyed or if it helped you with your investment journey. Make sure to subscribe to this video to get notifications for all my future content and to show me some more love and support. And with that being said, guys, I will see you all next time. Peace.